my channel to those who are new to my channel to those who don't know me my name is Boko Palani and loves welcome to my channel you are not late you are not early you are right on time please click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be part of the notification gang and to my returning subscribers thank you very much guys for the subscriptions for the comments for watching my videos thank you very much guys i really appreciate your support so guys um i'm gonna be doing a let's talk video uh, according to the plan i'm gonna be uploading twice a year i did indicate that on my first video video for the year so i had a problem because i was supposed to upload a desktop video on wednesday and then the vlogs on saturday we don't always do vlogs on saturday and but then let's talk must be specifically for wednesday but then this wednesday i had some responsibilities <laughs> so i couldn't shoot the video so i'm shooting this video today so that it can be uploaded on saturday so yeah just know that this year's schedule is let's talk on wednesdays and then saturday is either gonna be a clean up a vlog a haul yeah something like that or a bit of interior so yeah let's get into today's video which is let's talk so guys on today's desktop video i'm gonna be talking about the importance of starting a, a side hustle and the five side hustles that you can start that don't require you to have money so guys the reason i did this video then is because okay right now i am working right but i have noticed that for me to achieve the things that i want in my life for me to buy that mercedes Benz, for me to stay in that beautiful apartment for me to go shopping at zara for me to have uh, a furniture from at home i need to start a side hustle so that it can assist my 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 what's this my salary <laughs> because like i don't want to lie to you guys those people you see with their mercedes Benz, those people who stay in beautiful big big mansions that worth like almost three million it's not because of their salary it's only a few people who can afford to do all those things with their salary with the salary that they are earning but then when you know that what you are earning cannot afford you the lifestyle that you wish for yourself you need to just dust yourself and start hustling and again the other reason i decided to do this video now is because uh there's a lot of us who are graduates and unemployed like that's the reality so these hustles don't need you to to have a lot of money to start them and also when you are unemployed they will help you to just help yourself you get the point to pick yourself up like for example when they call you for an interview you know you have something in your pocket to go and and withdraw and go for an interview when they say you congratulations you got your job you don't have to go there and, and wait for your first salary for you to get a bed for you to get a fridge because that's what happened with me when i got my first job congratulations you got a job but i didn't have money to finance myself at the beginning so hence i'm um, I just want to encourage people to start a side hustle. So let's go <laughs> to the importance of starting a side hustle, guys. We need to start side hustle so that it can uh, help us with extra cash to pay our expenses, to pay bills, and also to save extra money. You know, like from hustling, you can actually make extra cash. You know, okay, like with the money that I'm using, uh, that I'm getting from my hustle, I can do my hair, I can pour my petrol if you have a car, like. That's why we need side hustle so that from your salary you can at least save more. You get the point. And then, like I've already indicated, that if you are unemployed, you can actually use this money to save up for yourself. So that when they say there's an interview somewhere, you don't have to struggle and start by going to take loans or making your parents take loans so they can finance you to go for an interview. You get the point. So yeah, and then the other reason for you to start a side hustle is for financial stability, guys. Like we need multiple streams of income. To be financially stable right like as i've already indicated those people who are driving mercedes benzes guys they have multiple streams of income you know there are a lot of people that i follow on social media many influencers you find that someone is working has, has a business is influencing they do a lot of things and we just they can be like ah, they are lucky hey they got blessed they have jobs it's not always about the job it's also what you do on your extra hours right yeah so let's get into the five side hustles that you can start that don't require a lot of money actually that don't require financing so number one tutoring tutoring or giving lessons for example ne, we are there are a lot of us who are graduates right we know how to solve for x we know how to do statistics we know life sciences we know history we know geography 
we know all this subject we've tackled those subjects before and the the one thing that is an advantage for us is that we also went to varsity we did this at, at an advanced level so now what you can do to just go to a nearby school whether they are at your neighbor high school i meant to say and then you get the hello guys I, my name is Dibako palane i am a graduate i'm a graduate and then i am unemployed but then i achieved well in math so i will be giving extra classes for math i'll be tutoring math and then each child must pay 200 per month you know like guys you know how to solve trigonometry you know how to do euclidean geometry if you can just get that book and revise you don't even go have to go and buy a study material you can actually borrow a book from your child's neighbor or from the school itself and say you know what i want to start something like this and i'm, I'm telling you you will get a lot of support because like it's said that you know a child goes to especially in rural areas you don't have support like the extra classes you just have an afternoon study where you just study on your own and at the end of the day you don't you end up not even understanding but then you can go there and start a tutoring a tutoring uh business extra classes business and then you get 200 from each other. imagine if you have 10 learners it's something it's rather than just sitting at home and doing nothing and then number two braiding braiding so guys forgive me for going down because i wrote these things down braiding or hairstyling you know like for you to start braiding people you don't need to study sabine all you need is your hands and your skills my friend when we're still at varsity ne, she was braiding people and she didn't even need a cent to start that business it was just her advertising herself making a poster i i, I know how to plate people and then just like that she was plating people she was making money people can come to you or you can go to them they come with their own hair and then what you do is to just braid them for guys you can cut people's hair but you know cutting people's hair hairs will require um machine all about care but that machine is not expensive guys let's just be honest we are we are getting the 350 that we just end up misusing them but then you can take that money where like a machine and then you start telling people who are right now i cut people you can go to parents and tell them i cut kids in there people will bring their kids and then the next thing you have money for yourself to finance yourself to grow that business as well so yeah and then number three that doesn't miss financing is graphic designing or web designing like graphic designing then most people who i know who are graphic designers some of them they didn't even go to school it's just a skill they developed on their own they you download the apps you go on youtube you learn how to do it and then you start saying guys i'm a graphic designer and you end up making a lot of money for example i'm gonna put a, a picture there of a a poster that i did for my business i didn't go for a graphic designing lesson i didn't do anything i just went on the app and i started creating uh, my own poster so it's not the perfect perfect poster but i was just it's the only poster i created i also did a logo for my mom's um business that she currently she recently started it's it's a simple thing but if i can be serious and go on youtube and see how i can advance my skills i can actually do much 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 better so i'm gonna insert it here the picture of my of the poster that i created and the logo that i did for my mom i hope i find that but the post i'm 100 sure it's there so those are the kind of uh, side hustles that you can start so that you can make yourself extra care so that you can make yourself extra money and then number four number four i used to do it myself guys selling things like i used to sell tupperware after graduating my first year of after graduating i was a facilitator a tutor yeah so i was basically working in a very deep rural area i was working at a school assisting kids with after school programs assisting kids with uh homeworks and all that and facilitating morals so the money for me it wasn't enough 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 i end up selling tupperware and Rigorito, and i can tell you the money that i would make the extra money that i would make would go a very long way you know like it would feel like 200 is nothing but imagine if you didn't have that 200 like imagine if you didn't have that 200 imagine if you didn't have that 150 that you make from the side hustle i would use that money to braid my hair i would use that money to go home pay transport from where i stayed and go home instead of using my own salary that was so little you get the point so i used to sell tupperware guys and i and when i started growing my problem the main reason i stopped selling tupperware and reading is because like i said i was staying in a very deep rural area going to polokwane was a hassle it was very far and then i stopped but then 
you don't have to stop there are people you can send to come uh, if you are working at Tolokwane, please Facebook thing for me. Some people are so generous. They will do it for you. They will do it for you. So you can just sell things. My friend is selling A1, by the way. And we're supporting her. We enjoy in smelling good. We can sell Tupperware. Like, for example, now I've been hunting someone who sells Tupperware because I lost my Tupperware bottle. So, guys, sell things. Sell Tupperware. Sell perfumes. Sell hair. Sell Brazilian hair. Sell clothes open it open it what's this i see people are opening the what is it called Hold on, what? this instagram boutiques that they open open something like that sell clothes there are some of us who are lazy to go to marabasat we don't even know marabasat we are limpopo kids so we are scared of getting lost we are scared of getting mugged so we need someone like you who's gonna open a boutique and sell us that for trans dress with 150 rent and we are gonna buy because we're gonna look good hey so guys, the last one is master of ceremony. You can actually be an MC. Guys, I feel like being an MC is just a matter of waking up, looking good, having your confidence, going to a, for wherever you'll be, mastering the ceremony. All you need to do is just tell them, I'm coming to your event, this is how much you should pay me. And then if you want to put transport aside, this is how much I want for my transport. And then you go there, Baba Dumelisha. That's all you need to do. Child, that's all you need to do. Guys, I'm the master of ceremony from today. <laughs> I'm the master of ceremony. Call me to a ceremony. If you guys book me, I'm affordable. So, guys, that's what you can do. That's the other side hustle that you can do. And it will make him good. You get the point? So, guys, we have come to the end of today's video. I don't want to make this list of videos long because you guys will end up getting bored. Ne? So we have come to the end of today's video. I hope this video was, you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope uh, this video will help someone who's watching, maybe who's frustrated, who doesn't know what to start as a side hustle. And you can also like take out other side hustles that needs little financing. You get the point? Because not all of us can braid. Not all of us can cut hair. Not all of us can have the confidence to tutor kids. But then I believe like out of these five side hustles, that you can't choose one. You can't pick one. Mm -hmm. So guys, don't forget to share this video because it can help a sister. It can have a brother out there who is also thinking that side hustles require a lot of money. And then guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to push the notification bell so you don't make, miss out on anything that I'm uploading here anything that i'm talking about everything that i'll be design i'll be interior designing everything that i'll be uh, cleaning and the vlogs okay so until next time guys thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed